Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm Dan Macklin. I'm the editor, executive editor of Feature Phone. So thanks everybody for coming for this collaboration between Coffee House Press and Feature Phone Books to launch three books. It's a triple extravaganza. So thank you for coming to celebrate those books. Um, and tonight we're celebrating um, Anna Moskovakis's You and Three Others Are Approaching a Lake, the stuff from Coffee House Press, and two new books from Future Phone Books, uh, Alan Gilbert's Late in the Antenna Fields, and Noah Eli Gordon's The Source. So let's give them a hand. <laughs> three of them read, um, but I just want to uh, I want to give a few thank yous uh, to some people who made the books and the event possible. Um, first of all, I want to thank Barogi, this wonderful space that we're in, so please everybody give them a round of applause. Um, and the installation here is just amazing, and it's really nice to read uh, in a place where you just you know, weigh into the the art that's in the room, so I really um, appreciate being here. Um, thank you. I want to say thanks to Coffee House Press, um, who published Anna's book. They really collaborated with Future Home to publicize the event and contribute to the event. So uh, thanks, thanks very much to Coffee House for doing that. Um, and many thanks to Sean Elwood and everybody at Creative Capital Foundation for. Um, not only helping with the production and marketing with Alan Gil Gilbert's book, but also their help with tonight's book party, so I really appreciate that. Um, and the New York State Council for the Arts Literature Program, which supports Future Poem. Um, and by the way, if you haven't heard, uh, their budget is being, under at is being attacked as we speak, so um, by the governor. Um, so if you, uh, you care about funding for the arts for small presses like Future Film, you should contact your congressperson in the governor's office and um, say that you're very concerned with what's going on with that budget. Um, and uh, I want to thank Jeremy Mickle, who designed um, the two Future Film books, which we're celebrating tonight. Um, and give him a hand. <laughs> Uh, he is not here. He is the mystery, mysterious man behind the curtain in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, and uh, Mary Speaker is here with us tonight. Where is Mary? Uh, and she did the beautiful typesetting um, for both our books. And you know, really thought she brought uh, a new energy and approach to our type design. So I really wanted to thank uh, Mary for that. Um, Artist Paul Chan um, in the Green Naftali Gallery for generously granting us permission to use an image of Chan's work, First Light, um, on the cover of Late in the Antenna Field. So um, I really want to appreciate that. Um, and Future Bo Books editor Chris Martin for all his work on these two books, and who happens to be the mastermind behind Future Post, our new blog. So that's Chris over there. So please <laughs> Um, this is like a revival with all this stuff. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I would like to thank Future Poems guest editors that helped select Noah Eli Gordon's book, Eileen Miles, who, who's here tonight, Bob Perlman, and Kim Rosenfield, who I don't know if I've gotten here yet, but I wanted to thank um, them all for their tireless effort and dedication. Um, and Future Poems' amazing board of directors, Jeremy Sigler, Monica De La Torre, and Jay Sanders. Um, Future Poems' managing editor, our first managing editor, uh, Jennifer Mayo, uh, who's JT, AKA JT, who's, who's here with us tonight. And, <laughs> and just to run through other, a few other folks who we couldn't have done this without, Francis Gonzalez, Serena Yost, uh, um, Sean, I'm sorry, Sean, Kane. I don't know. What? Sean Kane. Kane. <laughs> Wendy Whitesell, Marie LeClaire for documenting tonight's event. Um, Anna Moskovakis for her awesome card design promoting this event and all the other folks who made this possible, so thank you. Um, I'm going to introduce Noah now. Um, Noah's going to be the first to read. I just want to say a few words about um, 
Yes, but first of all, I'm really pleased that uh, Noah braved the snow to fly in from Colorado and make it to your book party, so thank you for doing that. Uh, Noah's book, The Source, was selected during Future Poems recent open reading period with the help of, again, Eileen Miles, Bob Perlman, Kim Rosenfield, and myself. Um, I'm extremely pleased that Noah chose uh, Future Poem to send his self-declared investigation and constrained bibliomancy and ambient research. Um, <laughs> I've always felt strongly that Future Poem's mission was not only to publish books by new and emerging innovative writers, but to champion work by accomplished writers such as Noah, who are, were taking new chances departing into uncharted territories. Uh, the source feels like a kind of collaboration, this kind of collaboration, and that spirit of collaboration extended into the design of the book as well. Um, and if you've seen it, it's quite different than a lot of other poetry books out there. <laughs> uh, uh, Noah wanted this book to harken back to, uh, I believe, to textual experiences of the past and to look different than other poetry books out there. With Jeremy Mickle, our design, designer, we landed on a design that was itself a departure for Future Poem um, using gold foil stamping. So it's actually a, a stamp that goes into this weird material that approximates an old library binding. Um, and uh, um, a paperback book, which, which I actually haven't seen before, um, and textured cover paper. Um, I hope you'll find the, you know, I hope you'll find the source of reading experience in its final form as alluring, um, you know, as the, as the book that the edi editorial panel and myself found, you know, um, pretty amazing reading experience. So with that, I'll, I'll welcome Noah. 